city. You better start keeping God's law, man, or he gonna take the rest of your hair. He gonna get all that in the back and you gonna be all messed up. Yeah, all right. He answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All praise. Mexican brothers getting shot in their own driveway in front of their kids. All of these are the beginning of sorrow, right? We believe these things. We come out here every week to show our faith. Come out here and stop you? Did we come out here to talk to you? Did we come out here to talk to you? No, we came out here to talk to our people. We came out here to spread love to Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, same people, your people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please come back. <laughs> right? Um, they're about to go. What's your nationality? I am like a bunch of different things. Okay, what's your mother? I don't know. What's don't, your father? I don't know like what I got what from, but what's, I'm, what's I'm a the, lot of German. What's the most you know? German? German probably. Okay. Oh, what's this? Okay. Um, so I'll start off by saying this, right? Every European nation at one point in time had a part in Black, Hispanic, and Native American slavery. Right, right. This is where we're going to start with the years, I can say, right? You believe in the Bible at all? Okay. Give me. Hold on, but you have some like, foreknowledge of Hebrew Israelites. What do you know about Hebrew Israelites in general? Um, I, I don't know. I just, I've watched some videos, um, and it just lines up with more of what I believe. I, I consider myself more like messianic. Okay. Um, so, what the Hebrew Israelites teach in general lines up with what you believe. Revelation that says this is the revelation of Jesus Christ, right? Uh, to show unto my servants, right? Identifying that revelation is by the word of, or teachings of Jesus Christ. In revelation 13. Book of revelation chapter 13, verse 10. Uh -huh. He that lead it into captivity. So historically, every nation of people have led black Hispanics and Native Americans into slavery. Every European nation. Uh, more recent, right? Really. Shall go into captivity. According to Jesus Christ, there's a judgment for these things. You guys have to go into slavery. Right? Right. He that killed him with the sword, because 200 million black Hispanics and natives were killed on initial contact, not even counting the accumulation of death up until this point. He's a right? Okay. Alright, we have another one. Y'all be safe. Be safe. Three. Must be killed with the sword. According to Jesus, who the Christian church paints as a uh, so called Caucasian boy who loves everybody. According to that man that they say they believe in. Oh, you, do you not believe in him? Of course I do. Oh, okay. I, do. Okay. I just don't believe this depiction is accurate. Okay. And I don't believe what the Christian church teaches about him is accurate. Right. Okay. Right? So according to what Jesus says, if you lead another people into slavery, upon his return, one of the judges on his people with war in, in some type of warfare, they 
you come from would be Esau or Edom in the Bible. Ashkenazi Jewish people, the people that inhabit the land, the majority of the land of Israel, the, from the Revelations! This is specifically to those who proclaim in this time that they are Jews, right? Revelations 2! Verse 9, I know thy works and tribulation. So he's speaking to the Israelites. He says, I know that you're in tribulation and tribulation and poverty. They're in poverty, but thou art rich. But we're rich because the promises are for us, the wisdom of the Bible, which is above all possessions in this earth, is for the Israelites. Go ahead. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Blasphemy means a dirty lie, right? Those that say they are Jews. And are not. And are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. So, Ashkenazi Jews, specifically, Jesus Christ, that's where I love Jesus Christ says they're the synagogue or chief house of Satan. Right. Right? Revelation 3 and 9. Say it again. 3 and 9. Oh, 3 and 9. Revelation. Revelations 3 verse 9. Behold. Red letter again. Go ahead. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. So Ashkenazi Jews, this is what Jesus Christ said. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Which say they are Jews. Which say they are Jews. And are not. But they're not. They have no historical connection to the Israelites. But isn't he referring to like who they are in their heart? Uh, when, either when way, when they're claiming either to way. be a Jew, is it just on the outside that they're proclaiming? What is a Jew? A Jew is a nationality of people. Right. Right. Okay. So, okay. okay, hold that. A Jew is a nationality of people. So, if I say I want to wake up and start keeping Chinese customs and following their traditions, worshiping their gods, doesn't mean that inside I'm a Chinese person. Right. I'm still the so-called black. Hispanic dude just following some craziness, right? So, this is speaking about the nationality of people who are claiming to be another nationality. Read that. Which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. So they're claiming a nationality that is not theirs. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Jesus Christ says, Going into slavery, eventually all white people will be exterminated, and he's gonna make you guys come and worship before the real Israelites and know what. And to know that I have loved thee. Because God has only ever expressed love to one nation of people in the Bible. Right. Right? Which are the Israelites. Today we'll be known as so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. Because everybody under earth, black Hispanic state is still at the bottom of society still being ruled over by those who have shown us nothing but hate. Right. There's the incredible things which is bullshit. Book of Isaiah chapter 63. This is a prophecy of what's going to happen specifically when Jesus Christ comes. Let's we'll start at verse 1. Yep, bring it on up. Who is this that cometh from Edom? So the Bible's asking, who is this coming from Edom or this nationality of some all white people, right? With dyed garments from Basra, right? Basra is a uh, chief city in the world. Okay. We have to get going, I'm sorry. This that is glorious in its apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak, verse 2, wherefore art thou 
Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel? Jesus Christ, why are, why are your garments red? Right, teacher. And thy garments like him that treaded in the, in the wine fat. Why does it look like you've been stomping on grapes? I have trodden the wine press alone. Right. And of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger. Jesus Christ says he's going to tread your people in this anger. Right. right. And trample them in my fury. Right. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment. This is why he's, his garments are dyed red because it's full of your people's blood. Right. And I will stain all my remnant. Right. Uh, 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 For the day of vengeance is in mine heart. And the year of my redeemer is come. So when Jesus Christ comes back to save his people from this oppression, salvation in the Bible has always come with the death of the oppressor. So that's what you guys have to look forward to. Russia, China, Iran, all these nations right now, specifically the nations that we see in the news right now, all spoken about as key players in this in these last days. Right? So um, I would say get some push, do some push-ups and sit-ups because we need you for slavery, but all the practices in America will be killed. So you don't even have a chance for that. Right. You have a goddamn day. Uh, right. You look your death is slow. Me too. What time is it? Time for Becky to go on a slave and not strike. Right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> play in traffic. Right. Um, I was super friendly the whole time. That's so polite. What's up with you, man? Hey, so she, I got a diss on nice today. Uh, people made me really mad at the point where I really want to hurt them. But I don't have, I, you know, I don't like hearing, like, but at the same time, that on me ain't no hold up. You feel me? Yeah. And people say I was ear hustling. While I was in the alleyway hearing him talk. So, instead of me going close to him, I used to fun facts about our history with God with fun facts. Who are you according to the Bible? According to the Bible, I'm just a good kid. One of his kids. That's it. Is everybody a child of God? Of course. Where is that in the Bible? Well, he did say, all right, to his chosen ones, that he, 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 he didn't promise anything to his own. Okay. Promise to his chosen ones. Um, we've well, spoken to you before. What's your name right. again? Uh, Antonio, sir. Antonio. Okay, Antonio. Um, you know why we come out here? Of course. What? If you had to explain to somebody else what these brothers on this corner do week in and week out, what would you say? They try to try to be here and like, talk about God without being slain. You should be able to talk about God and not be slain. Um, okay. I'll say uh, we come out here, whether it's, it's for us to be slain or not, regardless of the consequences, we come out here without caution. Yep, right. right. To of speak course. this word you without know, reserve. You know who right. also did that, sir? Machine Gun Kelly. Hey, Machine Gun Kelly is going into slavery. That's right. right. Um, Machine Gun Kelly got a lot of blood on his hands, dude. even if he didn't do it directly. He's a damn cracker and he's going into slavery. That's right. Um, so is Eminem. So, and, and if, if Eminem make it out of uh, America before the nuclear war or missiles get over here and hit America, so why I got dibs on Eminem? Okay, if I can explain why they can get off the hook, we're trying at least, we're trying. But King Kong Kelly is similar to David. David did have a lot of blood on his hands, and also he sent somebody on the front lines for a woman. So God is God said, can't build my house. That is not the first So you're saying that King David, King of Israel, who has who, who, who according to God has a heart, a perfect heart, right? 
according to God, David had a perfect heart. Dude, you're saying you know Machine I'm... Gun Kelly, right. a cracker, right. uh, uh, Point Dexter, wannabe gangster, cracker. That's there's a comparison with that. Right, well, I'm glad it is. This is why he actually got to make and I used to like Machine Gun Kelly. God too. damn! Right, me too. Listen, I know there right. is it, no it, comparison, it, it, right? It, it just, it just won. Yeah. Like, just won. Uh, when they started no. shooting Remember. bullets at him for Remember. saying stuff about Remember. God, he shot back. Um, that's, that's it. That's the only comparison. At least he tried, and that's it. Just won. Once he, like, hey, it's the one. Okay, I, I want to see what you do. Multiple churches. You know, he did build multiple churches, and they said we didn't like that, and they started shooting at the church. Hey, I got a question for you. What, what similarity? What similarity outside of breathing air <laughs> did Machine Gun Kelly and King David have? Right. Okay. Could have and came and killed his enemy. I'm not saying you. Uh, no, no. I'm you said you can name one similarity. Just one. Okay, come on. They both at least try to defend God hey, in um, the way that they know how. Give me, give me Romans That's nine it. and thirteen. Machine gun, machine gun. Kelly is an Edomite according to the Bible. True. Somebody give me your Obadiah eighteen, or better yet, get a soft repentance and found no repentance. Get that for you. Romans nine verse thirteen. So we're gonna find out how God feels about Machine Gun Kelly. Go ahead. As it is written, uh -huh. Jacob have I loved. So God loves blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Go ahead. But Esau have I hated. So God hates Esau. You got that? So, so God hates Machine Gun Kelly. Watch this. Hold on. Hebrews 12 and 16. Because you're trying to make a case that Machine Gun Kelly can repent. Because King David repented from his sin. Go ahead. Lest there be any fornicator. Or profane person is Esau. There's not a more disgusting person on the planet than Machine Gun Kelly. Go That's ahead. right. But for one more so of meat sold his birthright. Right. For you know how the afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, uh -huh. he was rejected. Even Machine Gun Kelly was rejected. Go ahead. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So, so, so when you go into the Bible in the Book of Psalms, King David sought repentance with tears. Right. It, and he got repentance. The Bible says that Machine Gun Kelly can get no repentance even if he sees it with tears. He's an Edomite, man. Give me that in Obadiah. He's an Edomite, man. So you got to understand, God has a judgment hey, on certain I got, people. I got a question. Uh, just one more, then I'll, I'll let you. Go ahead. Uh, Look at student and tell me no comparison. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, Richard. And there was another person that helped me on Christmas, which is also named Richard. They helped me save the United States of America. Give me Obadiah 18. No, no, we're not dealing with this, brother. Give me Obadiah 18. Nah, brother. You talking about? Go ahead. It's the book of Obadiah, verse 18. What's gonna happen to Machine Gun Kelly? Go ahead. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Uh huh. And the house of Joseph a flame. Northern or southern kingdom. Go ahead. And the house of Esau for stubble. The white man is going to be for stubble. And Machine Gun Kelly, a so called white man. Is Machine Gun Kelly a so called white man? Go ahead, read that. And they shall kindle in them. Uh huh. And devour them. Uh huh. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. No, Machine Gun Kelly gets to repent. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. No, Machine Gun Kelly has a similarity to King David. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. And who spoke it? For the Lord have spoken it. So God said Machine Gun Kelly is going to cease to exist. God said there is no place of repentance for Machine Gun Kelly. And God said last but never least that he hates Machine Gun Kelly, sir. Where are you getting this shit from? You got some? Go ahead. Isaiah 40 and 17. Uh -huh. you know, all nations before him are as nothing. All nations before him as are nothing, man, or are as nothing. You can go to, to second Ezra to go to him, and that's a precept for that. As unto spittle. Go ahead. And they are counted to him less than nothing Machine, and vanity. Machine Gun Kelly is it's vain it's vain to the most high God's eyes, man. Vain means wherein there is no profit. Things wherein there is no profit. You got that? I got that. Uh -oh, go ahead. Do we understand no, 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 that Machine no, no, Gun no, no, Kelly cannot no, no, repeat? I like this part. Right here. 
me as a historian. Uh, as a historian. No, no, as a historian, as history. Right? I do know this, but my history. Okay, right? So I do know that someone did put a whole false image. Right? right? That's exactly what happened. That's like me. Uh huh. But that also happened in the church. And then they look American too. Right? What did you say? The Native Americans also got done by Pocahontas. Uh huh. The story of Pocahontas got changed to a love story. Right, right, right. right. But we all, but we both know that that's not true. Right. Yeah. And those are machine gun kill these people. But go ahead. Right, true. That, that, yeah. That can, that can be true. Hey, no, that is true. Uh, that, that's what I said. But it's not like nobody don't have any thoughts. What, what's your name? Antonio, sir. Antonio, let me ask you something, Antonio, yes, sir. What is the fascination? With you and Machine Gun Kelly? Why no. Machine Gun Kelly out of everybody? No, no, no. He went to Africa. Why not Elvis? No, he went to Africa. Machine Gun Kelly went to he, Africa. He went to Africa. To start to start to start to start so Machine Gun Kelly went to Africa to push white Jesus on black people. <laughs> that's all they do, and that's all they do, man. So Machine Gun Kelly, hold on, wait. Machine Gun Kelly went to Africa, and do you think he pushed an image that looked like this or an image that looked like that? Of course not. No, no, come on, man. Of course not. But, but at the same time, I grew up in the Apostolic Church looking at this image. Right. Right. So, Go ahead, read it off. Antonio Trippi. I'm just saying what I'm saying. He made churches in Africa. Jude 1, verse 4. We love you, though, Antonio. Man. We're, here to, we're here to just read the Bible to you. Go ahead. That's true. That's true. For yeah. there are certain men, Machine Gun Kelly, uh -huh. crept in unaware. Machine Gun, and he ain't even crept in unaware. <laughs> How the hell you didn't notice him? Right. Hey, what Eminem say? Hey, they choose to ignore the skill because I stand light like a I stand out like a green hat with an orange bill. That's Machine Gun Kelly, man. Right? He ain't even crept in unaware, man. Everybody knows as soon as you step in the building, he's a devil. Go ahead, huh? Who are before? Hey, hold on. Bob Marley crept in unaware. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh. 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 Uh, Osama. Uh, what's, what's What's the name? The Obama. Right. He crept in unaware. Right. Huh? Right? right? Damn, uh, Huey P. Newton crept in unaware. Nah, Machine Gun Kelly crept his ass in well aware. Go ahead, uh. Who are before of all ordained to this condemnation. Uh -huh. Ungodly man. Uh -huh. Turning the grace of our God into lavishness. They turned the grace of our most high God into lavishness. Man, he's an ungodly man. There is no way. Right. Go ahead, I'll keep going. And denying the only Lord God and our Lord. Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. And understand this, Machine Gun Kelly took his pale pink face, buttercup ass over there to, to Africa, and he pushed this image right here, man. He right. denied the real image of Christ. Don't the Bible say, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall run rivers of, of running water, man. Right. He's not doing that, man. To hell with Machine Gun Kelly. He's going into slavery, brother, and that should make you happy. Hey, the thing That's is. right. Hey. Maybe so. Maybe he deserves it. Hey, maybe, no, maybe. I, know, I mean, I don't know the guy. You know? But give me, give me, give me Isaiah, uh, uh, you know, 1 and 21. Or 14 and 21. Go ahead, Isaiah. Go ahead. I'm just going to show you in the Bible that he deserves it. But go know. ahead. But the other thing, though, oh, what do we do with the kids, with the kids that are like me? Like my brother and me. Give me, uh, yeah, number 118. What, you, what the hell you mixed with, Antonio? Um, I'm white and black. And black. Who, what's, what's your what's your father? Right, I, my father is Antonio Lamont's with his son. Man, what's his ethnicity? Like, he's all uh, he's black, but he's all uh, Haitian. What's his father? Uh, his father is all uh, black down in that native, like your native in, in Haitian. So you would be either from the tribe of Gad or from the tribe of Levi, right? Right. Definitely leave off. But the thing is, so. the, thing, <laughs> so, I, the thing with talking about little brother though, uh -huh. Gonzalez, he was he was pretty much a walk in the United Nations. Due to the fact you well, know, well, well, before, before, before you go I am with you. Before, before you go too far though, let's just read the Bible about who how you determine who you are. Alright, go ahead. Numbers one and eighteen. Uh -huh. They assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. By the house of their fathers. So you are who your father is, according to the Bible. There is no confusion. It, the Bible says God is not the author of confusion. Yeah, of course, of course. Right. So what America does is America tries to create this this one humanity, one people doctrine, where they say, well, everybody's just mixed all up by now, so we're all brothers and we're all sisters somewhere along the line. But in the Bible, you are who your father is. Right, right Antonio. Okay. So what if someone's history was taken? 
What women didn't know? Like ours. Yeah. What if you found that out for yourself though? Yeah, yeah. Really, it was like us. Right. Like me, I found out I'm a moose. I, w- I went to the 18th century wall that we all get stopped at and then follow the property values after that. Brother, give me a sign and a wonder. Somebody give me that. You get whatever you were getting. Okay, so I got I got something for you. Or I got something for you, I should say, through the spirit, man. Deuteronomy 28, starting at 45. Now, I'm going to show you in the Bible how we find out who we are. Uh-huh. All right, go ahead. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and, and oh, shall right. pursue thee. One of those curses that were, that you were talking about is being ripped from your identity. Yeah. Right? Being ripped from your ethnicity, who you are, your God, etc., yeah. etc. Go ahead. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed, uh-huh. because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To keep his commandments and the statutes which he commanded thee. Okay, so this is talking about curses, right? Go ahead. Yeah. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So they shall be upon thee for a sign. So, so the fact that you've been stripped of your ethnicity, the fact that your children were given away into slavery, the fact that you were sold on auction blocks to your enemies, yeah. you're walking around with a with a with, with a sign, with a spiritual sign that says Israelite. Great. Definitely try to believe by Right. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Ready? And upon thy seed forever. And it's going to be upon our seed forever. Upon our kid. Hey, man, what the hell you want, man? I'm just listening, bro. I'm just listening. What's your ethnicity? What'd you say? What's your ethnicity? What? He doesn't know where he's talking. Are you a, are you a, yeah. are you a white man? Okay. It don't matter, man. It don't matter, man. It don't matter if you German. It don't matter. Listen, man. You're if you're in America, you're gonna get hit by a missile. All right, you don't stand a chance, sir. If you leave America, you'll go into slavery. All right. So that's the message that we have for you guys. Antonio wants to save you. His name is. What's your name? Derek. Derek? All right, Derek. Hey, hey. Uh... Derek off of American History X. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this Derek. Nigga, this Derek. Nigga, Derek. Yeah, 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 yeah. This nigga curve check with black dude. Ooh. Yeah, man. What's that? What's that? Uh, uh, Billy Blunt's clothing? Yeah. Whose clothing line is that? Look at this nigga here, man. What? <laughs> Damn, Antonio. What? what who, whose clothing line is that? Does the does Philly Blunt's know you just stole their damn uh, name and put it on a shirt? I hope this goes on YouTube and viral somewhere and they sue the hell out of you if you made a quarter, man. You can't do that, man. This dude wants to love you and like you, man. That's not good, man. Right. That's not good, man. Right, you yeah, you have, you, you, those boots suck, man. What the hell you doing in those? Yeah, we're like that, Antonio. You got it, man, I man. You, I you, I you gotta get some, you gotta get some. I didn't think no bitch, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I got really mad, nigga. Like, I heard people talking about me. He hit the alleyway. Talking to Lucifer, all the other stuff, bro. Yeah, because you coming, you coming in some bullshit. No, 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 sir, no, sir, no, not, not at all. Yeah, like, all right, what's that? If we were, I, I, I'm an artist, right? So, what do you like? What kind? You like a, a artist, like a drawer, painter, or yeah, yeah, like all that, like, break I, I, dancing or something. I, I even like put stuff on my skates and stuff like that. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. You know, I just like in general, like, you know how you are, you go to the police, and be like, give me a description of a guy. Yeah, they like, man, he was in rollerblades. Right, some other stuff, right? I just did, I, I just drew him out in Revelations. Yeah. You know, once I read Revelations, and, and you start reading, like, and then, like, you start reading. Like, when I did the scripture for the morning, like, and they had eight things, that and right? It, 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 it literally came out to, like, a cocktail. All right, look, I'm like, listen, like, man, brother. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, though, that's just, like, me reading and then drawing what I wrote, what I wrote, what I read. Let me, let me ask you something. What's your purpose on this earth? It, it just say the truth of the Bible. It's the same. I, I like the King James version. The brother, the, the brother asked you. A, the brother asked you a question earlier. Like, what are we doing out here? What's our job? Just make sure that all glory of God is spread around the world. I'll go with that. But the world of Israel, all right. So this is the thing. We come out here to tell so-called Black, Hispanic, Native Americans to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? 
That's what we come out here to do. We come out here to tell our people who they are. We come out here to tell our people the instructions that come along with being who we are. Right. Yeah, man. Hold on one second. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Get out, huh? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So, all man, we can go through all the dialogue that we want, but what's the moral of the story? Fear God and keep his commandments. Antonio, right. your job is to fear God and to keep his commandments. Yes, sir. Right. You keep God's commandments. Right. I, you just said something about celebrating Christmas. No Christmas came from taking holidays. So you don't celebrate it no more. No, sir. Right. I praise to the most high. You eat pork? You eat pork, Antonio? I do. Oh, not, not, not well. But this is when you prayed over it. No. Pray. Always pray. Okay. All else is hunger. Careful what you eat. So why you eat pork? God said to Peter, he put all the swine inside. Right? right? Isaiah right. 66 and 15. Yeah. Bring Hold it out. Uh, we'll, get that in, we'll get that in a minute. But if what you're saying is right, this can be right because this is a future prophecy that has not happened yet. Watch this. Go ahead. Isaiah 66 and 15. Uh -huh. But behold, the Lord will come with fire uh -huh. and with his chariots like a whirlwind uh -huh. to render his anger with fury mm -hmm. and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right, so he's mad. Go ahead. For by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Hey, I hope your cane breaks and you fall down and break your face. Right. Go ahead. Uh and the slain of the Most High shall be many. Uh -huh. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the fields, uh -huh. eating swine's flesh. Yeah, that's, that's you, Antonio, eating swine's flesh. The abomination and the mouse uh -huh. shall be consumed together, so, saith the Lord. So according to the Bible, according to future prophecy, if you're caught eating swine's flesh on the arrival of the Lord, he's going to kill you. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. There's also a, a, a verse in the Bible. Well, what do you guys say about that, though? There, he, God came to Peter, which is the cornerstone of the Bible, right? Next to all right, we, he, we, he, we got he it. Okay. Right, he cut up so, his ear. So, he also had a bad mouth. Antonio, right, still want to be a chief Antonio before, we go to, what, before we go to Peter's vision, what did you get out of the scripture that we just read? Is it okay to eat pork or not? You didn't let me explain. I didn't let you explain. No, sir, because then you let me get the scripture right i'm saying listen you want to jump to the vision of peter and we can go there it's not a problem but i want to get your i want to get your your my opinion i want to get your understanding on the verse we just read all that verse that we read that was the under the law we're not under the law no more because of who no no i'm asking you so we're not under the law because no more. Of who? you can't yeah. ask me because no, of who because i believe christ. we're under the law due, due to the fact that jesus christ all right we got a lot to talk about get asked in or what do you got? I'm not actually out of Jesus. Oh, yeah, get that. Are you a Christian? Of course. That's what does what 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 a Christian mean? A Christian or a, a Christian in a broad view? Well, yeah, just or what has a world view? Yeah. Because if I go overseas, then I'll Come on, Christian. man, just give me some. What does a Christian mean? A Christian is God, one of God's child, right? Okay, so most people would say a follower of Christ. Would you agree? It, it should be, yeah. All right, a Christian is a follower of Christ. How you doing, You're bro? a Christian. Did Christ keep the law? Hey, bro, you got it, sir? You believe in God, bro? That's hard. Okay. Go ahead, huh? John 15, verse 10. Uh-huh. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Uh-huh. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. So right. Christ keep the commandments. So, so if Christ kept the commandments, I gotta ask you: How are you a Christian if you? How are you like Christ if He kept commandments that you don't keep? If how do I keep the commandments? Mm -hmm. Right? How do you keep all of them? Brother, can you can you answer that question? Yes, I can. How, how are you Based like Christ? Real life. Huh? Based on my real life. How are you like Christ if He kept commandments that you don't Sir, keep? Right, I was, I answer. Yeah, that's what Please answer. Please answer. If I follow, right? Christ followed the. Uh -huh. I'm gonna keep that to me. I'm gonna keep that to me. That's not. That's not what that means. God. But that's not what I. I'm going to keep it. On top of that, my little cells within a nutsack. I literally know my Bible. Though. 
Okay, I got a question real quick. One fish, two fish. One <laughs> <laughs> fish. Big neck, cutty whack. Big neck, cutty whack. Give a dog is, a is eating Is eating pork a sin? Well, go back to the vision of who? Okay, but okay. Before that, was eating pork a sin? Of course. Okay. Did Christ ever sin? Yeah. Okay. That version of Christ. The white boy didn't sin, but the no, black no, no, one no, did. No, 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 no. Hey yo. Well, guys, again, grew up looking at this. But I'm talking about so the as, man. As, as this image, as, as this image, they portray him as. I got what? three seconds. Take. It. Go ahead. I'm gonna read this right. First Peter two and twenty one. Teach him out. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So you should follow Christ's steps. He's an example. He kept the law. Go ahead, Art. Who did no sin? Neither was God found in his mouth. So the Bible says that Christ did no sin. According to 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, sin is the transgression of God's law. So if you are a Christian, I have to ask you, Antonio, why are you keeping God's law? Sir, now this is the thing. You can't accuse me of crimes that you don't even know that I have. I, I just asked you. You just asked me why I'm not keeping God's law. I just asked you if you ate pork. No, no. See, that's the thing. You just went into that one. You said be poor. That's on tape. Now we're going to the future, right? And then we're going to go in first. We're going straight to the Did you tell me you eat pork or not? I already said I have. Then I, that, do, oh, no, no, do no, you not have problem. you, but do no, no, you? I, I, I'm not right now. No. I eat fish. I train. I'm a bastard. Right? Okay, so you denounced pork. You prevented from eating pork. Uh, you know, I eat a lot of things I already announced myself. I'm saying, but brother, can you just answer me straight for you playing this one fish, two fish? No, sir. Have I'm you, answering the question straight. So you have repented from eating pork and you no longer eat pork? No, sir. I eat what I can. What is it? It's called survival. Now, if this is in other countries, in other Gotcha. So about survival, right? Second Maccabees 6, verse 18. Uh -huh. Eleazar, one of the principal scribes. Eleazar, a strong brother, man. An right? aged man. An aged man. He was an older brother, too. He wasn't even young like we are. Go ahead. And a well favored countenance. Uh huh. Was constrained to open his mouth uh -huh. and to eat swine's flesh. Uh -huh. But he chose rather to die gloriously. Hold on, wait. Eleazar chose rather to die and not even to die regularly, but to die gloriously. Go ahead. But he chose rather to die gloriously uh -huh. than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth, and came of his own accord. So understand. Man, where? That's not speaking about suicide. Wait, wait, wait. We gonna break it down. This man died glorious, right? Glorious. That's the same thing as sex. No, no, no. Somebody killed him because he wouldn't eat pork. Somebody killed him. Somebody killed him because he wouldn't eat pork. The same way someone would kill us if we didn't eat. At, in their camp, it's, it's, no, it's, 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 it's different cultures. Different cultures, you did not eat what was in front of you, you will die. It was a gift, right? Hey, I got a couple scriptures for you. You got it? Psalms 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. So understand something. The way Eleazar went off, I mean, not went off, but went out in the eyes of God. It was precious, man. It right. Was suicide. It wasn't. It wasn't a sin. It wasn't. It would have been a sin if he ate that pork to live. Right. I just know he died. He, he, he died because he didn't eat pork and they killed him. Yeah, I, I respect that. Because at that time, that was a, that was. Give me Sirach thirty and seventeen. I respect that. Sirach thirty and seventeen. So that's what I'm saying. So no, no, he followed the law. This yeah. is, but yes, bro. But what I'm saying is this. So you have no excuse. There ain't no reason for you to sit out here and say something like, "Well, I eat what I can because it's called survival." Because because of your Jesus Christ died for our sins. That so Jesus Christ died so you can do whatever you want. Hell no. Then why is he going? 
Then what are you talking about, brother? Okay. You're talking about he gave. What did he say? What did God say? Give me Matthew 5. So I write 30 and uh, 17. Matthew 5. Uh, no, 5 and 17. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 30, verse 17. Uh -huh. Death is better. Death is better than the bitter life. Hey, so the Bible says death is better than a bitter life, man. Of consensual sickness. Or continual sickness, man. And understand something, man. When you when you wander out of the way of understanding, the Bible says that you're in the congregation of the dead. I would call that a bitter life. The Bible says your death is better than a bitter life. You got something, Dar? Go ahead. Second Maccabees 7, starting at 29. Get out, huh? Fear not this tormentor, but being worthy of the of thy brethren, take thy death, right. that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brethren. Man, take your death on the chin. Hey, ain't you supposed to be willing? Hold on, wait a minute. Ain't you supposed to be willing to die for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man? That's right. You're supposed to be willing to die for these beliefs. So let me hold on, wait, 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 because you're talking about survival. And we're right. talking about survival. Right. So let me ask you something, man. When everything hits the fan and you get in trouble for being a follower of who the world calls Jesus Christ, are you going to worry about survival or are you are you going to stay true to your king? Right. Brother, this is one fish, two fish. Red fish. The way that you say it. Patty whack. Nick Patty whack. Perception is still a strong thing. It's the way that we word things that actually went it. I'm going to finish this out. While she was yet speaking these words, the young man said, Whom wait ye for? I will not obey the king's commandment. Wait, wait, obey the laws of the land. I will not obey the king's commandment. No, you have to obey what Donald Trump said, man. You can't jaywalk. Right? I will not obey the king's commandment. Are you familiar with, uh, what's the, what's the brother's name? Goodness gracious, why am I forgetting his name? Mordecai. Was it Mordecai? It, what's the book? Uh, Jude? Is it Jude? Where he wouldn't, where he wouldn't salute the statue. He wouldn't stand up for the statue. You're talking about Daniel. Well, we're talking about Bell. No, the king no, of Bell, I'm talking about, about the Bell Tower or the Bell, or the Bell no, Tower. No, listen, man. I'm, or I'm with talking the wood about. Or the, 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 what's, what was the brother's name? Meshach. No, I'm not talking about, but these are all great examples, right? right? But I'm talking about, I'm talking about, where he, was, he had a cousin or a niece or something that was the king's wife. They wanted to kill him because whenever something came on, he, he was supposed to salute a statue or something like that. I'll find it later, man. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you know what I'm talking about. But he was supposed to obey the laws of the land. Go ahead. Hey, boss, man. What's up, man? I'm, I'm from Puerto Rico, man. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm over here saying, I'm saying, what y'all about. Right? So he from Mike. Yeah. Right, yeah. All praises to the most high. So you know that then. Yeah. Okay, all praises, brother. Yeah. How long you been out here? Uh, about 20 years. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. I was in Puerto Hey, hey. You better start keeping God's law, man, or he gonna take the rest of your hair. Yes, sir. He gonna get all that in the back, and you gonna be all messed up. Yeah, all right. Remember, I, I, I didn't want to see what y'all got to say. Shine a light on. They done let them bruise in the dough. Oh shit. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Uh, uh. They done let them bruise in the dough. We ain't going nowhere. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Look. Your body need the free dark low, the hell is wrong with you. If you Hebrew K, what the hell is wrong with you? He said, Deacon, you a Hebrew, I can't do a song with you. If the Christians find out, then they gon' take me off the pews. I'm like, shut the hell up, clown, stop picking sides. I'm so Hebrew, you can see it in my eyes. Lately, I've been seeing the Hebrews on the rise. And if they say we hate white people, that ain't lies. I know some Hebrews from out west, them boys be blickied up. I know some Hebrews from out east, them camps be lit as fuck. I know a sister from the west and she be scripted up. And if you jump in her DM, she gon' refuse the lust. I like pomegranates, cause it got stars on it. My heart bleed for my people, though it got scars on it. Yeah.